Um, what do you make of what the senator uh, just said, that, that, that if they push this off for whatever reason to address later, that could be damaging as well, just, just punting again, even by a lame duck Congress? Well, I think we've got an enormous fiscal and economic challenge because Congress can't get spending under control and, and our national debt is out of control. Uh, that being said, sequestration is the wrong solution. In, in particular, the military, under Barack Obama, there's ar already been $500 billion taken out of the military. And if sequestration goes into effect, that's another $500 billion. Those are draconian cuts that I think would imperil our ability to protect our national security. And as the last few weeks have shown, this is still a very, very dangerous world. I think it is unfortunate brinksmanship on the part of the president uh, and you are right, both parties bear some blame here, but it is brinksmanship to risk the men and women in the military and our national security rather than getting serious about fisking, f fixing these fiscal and economic challenges. But do you worry that, and I know your support for the military and all, when we talk about cuts, we're talking about a budget, a defense budget that will still be larger in 10 years than it is now. Uh, and it, 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 it's the Republicans' opposition to touching defense isn't much different than Democrats' uh, concern about so much as slowing the uh, growth in entitlements so that you, you guys are, are diametrically opposed to solving this, which is, by the way, we had the sequestration cuts that, that we did. Um, so that you, it's almost in your DNA to get nothing done. Uh, now, obviously, you want to come to the Senate to change that, but are you worried that the, the, it's just built into the system to get nothing done? Well, I, I certainly agree that with this Congress, that's the state of affairs. And I think a big part of the reason is Harry Reid as majority leader. Uh, Harry Reid, as majority leader of the Senate, has killed bill after bill after bill. The House of Representatives, to its credit, has tried to pass serious legislation, reining in spending, addressing our crushing debt. And every one of those bills goes to the Senate and dies. Under Harry Reid, the Senate Democrats haven't even had a budget in three years. They're not even pretending to try to fix these problems. I think that's irresponsible, but I'll tell you, Neil, I am hopeful and I'm optimistic. I think we're going to see a tremendous result in just three and a half weeks on Election Day. And if we see new leaders in the Senate, if we see Harry Reid retired as majority leader, and if we see Mitt Romney in the White House, then I think the expectations are going to be on Congress to stop all the toxic talking, to roll up our sleeves right. and get serious fixing the problem. All right. Ted Cruz, thank you very, very much. And again, uh, folks.